Hello and welcome to MultiVenturex. In this tutorial video, we will be discussing how you can turn your e-commerce website into a product catalog. With our product catalog inquiry for WooCommerce plugin, you can easily operate both catalog and sales mode using the mini inquiry cart and the flexible inquiry form. So without any further ado, let's get started with the configuration. But before that, please make sure that you have the WooCommerce and the product catalog inquiry for WooCommerce by MultiVenturex installed and activated. Once you have those plugins installed and activated, you are ready to run your e-commerce website into a product catalog. Let's begin with the admin settings. From the admin dashboard, click on to the catalog option available and from the drop down menu, select settings. Once redirected, you will find the list of settings available. Let's look at each of them one at a time. The default settings that we get redirected to are the general. Under this, you will find a few sub menus such as common settings, display options, and inquiry email receipt settings. Now let's get started with the first common settings. General settings. To activate catalog mode sidewide, enable the catalog mode option. To add an inquiry button for all product, enable the product inquiry button option. If you only want to allow inquiries for out of stock product, enable the product inquiry button when product is out of stock option. You can choose the user type for which the catalog will be applicable by selecting an option from the drop down menu under the catalog mode applicable form. To hide the cart and checkout page and redirect the user to a new page, enable the display cart and the checkout page option. If you want to redirect the user to a specific page after successful inquiry submission, such as the home page, Enable the redirect after inquiry form submission option, followed by the display option. Here are the two settings that needs to be configured. To hide the product price from the site and disable purchase, enable the remove product price option. By default, the inquiry form will be displayed by a pop-up. If you prefer to display the button under the product description instead, Enable the display inquiry form via pop-up option. Now scrolling down to the inquiry email receiver settings. If you want to receive inquiry emails at an additional email address, enter the email address in the address receiver email field. If you want to send email to another email address like abx at the red xyz.com, simply add the email address here. To remove the admin email from the receiver list, enable the remove admin email option. Now let's click on to the next option, button appearance. Button text. In this field, enter the text for your inquiry button. Button type. Select the appropriate option from the drop down list to choose the inquiry button type from the following option. Read more. Customer link for all product, individual link for all products, no link. Your own button style enables the customer design for inquiry button. Additional settings. Use this additional settings field to enter your custom CSS code for customizing the inquiry form. Under this tab, you can set a few roles. To exclude certain user role from sending inquiries, Select them from the drop-down menu provided. You can specify a particular user who won't be able to send inquiries by selecting their username in this section. If you want to have an Add to Cart button instead of an inquiry button for certain products, you can specify them here. To have an Add to Cart button instead of an inquiry button for a specific category, select the category from the section. Inquiry form. Please use this field to enter your custom CSS code for customizing the inquiry form. Content before inquiry form. Fill this form to write a description before about the inquiry form. Content after inquiry form. This content will be shown up 
after inquiry form. Overwrite form title. Enable this to set your custom title. Inquiry form fields. Enable the field from the given option as needed. This will be reflected in the inquiry form. With this, we have come to the end of our tutorial. If you like the video, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on to the small red bell to get updated whenever we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.